Hello everybody, my name is a friend and today we're gonna check out the HDOS client once again. I've done it a year and a half ago and I wanted to see how much it's changed because I did play it back then and at the moment, or at that time, we did not have 117 plugin, which is now known as RuneLight's HD plugin. So uh, a couple plugins were like uh, fighting each other, you know, there was this HD and that HD. Now since 117 plugin came out, no one really cared about the rest of the HD plugins. I didn't even know they were still working on this. I thought it's just like, oh, okay, we have already HD, but it's different kind of HD though. It's uh, the way it used to be back in 2008. Now, first of all, I want to say that I am not sponsored by them at all. It's just a free video to make. I don't have to spend 30 hours making a video. I can just do this in like a couple hours just to review. And I'm actually genuinely interested in this. I also want to say that uh, this is closed source client. So I cannot say if this is safe or not. I mean, nobody really got hacked. There were thousands of people who were playing and testing. Uh, it doesn't seem like anyone got hacked, but you know, just in case, I'm just here to report the news. However, they did send a source code back in November 2021. They got no reply from JMods at all. Although I scroll this a little bit, there's a screenshot saying that there's no updates as of yet. I can provide to you. Sorry, the team are still reviewing and will get back to you via the email. So Jagex asked for the source of this and they actually complied. They said, yep, there you go. You can go ahead and examine it. What's this? All right, so these are the HD graphics. These are different from 117 plugin. You can tell by the whips, uh, by the whip animations and you know how the whips look. So yes, it did change a few items, how they look. Graceful looks black. I mean, this is the default graceful. Like this is not even like colored or anything. It just, this is how, but th this is just only for a few items. It's not always like, maybe it's cooler looking. I don't even know. But yes, these are the, chat heads and if you look at other people this is i think this is from 2008 version of runescape so the biggest issue with the client at least a year and a half ago was that they had this hd pretty much ready as you see right now but there were no plugins everyone's used to runelight plugins like yes you may have this hd but are you willing to sacrifice all of the runelight plugins because they had zero at the time well since then they started adding now the plugins since they, i'm guessing kind of finishing up with the whole hd thing hold up my screen was not sized correctly there we go so i'm not also sure if on runelight i have a bad combination of uh, gpu plugins like the hd plugins but i don't get that much fps like i think there's unlock fps button but i get like a hundred which is enough but i do have a 240 hertz monitor and that's where i would love my fps to be at and Surprisingly, it's always in this. It's it's it never really drops. I can zoom out. Of course, it has to drop as I do that. But I I generally I I test this out like a couple days ago. I was running around all the places. It just stays at 240 FPS. You can't even see that FPS right now on the screen because YouTube can only play this at 60 FPS. I see it though. It is extremely smooth. If I spin around like this. It is so, so, so smooth. I've never seen anything like this before. Look at all these people hanging out, huh? Yeah, these, these do look cool, but uh, like certain things like dance emotes, you know? It's like what it was back in the day. What is this? Nightmare at age? What is this? Huba, 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 haba, haba. <laughs> oh God, these are so smooth. Look at the sliding. What the hell? Look, the, the FPS and the, the smoothness of the animations. Oh yeah, I love it. Unhighlight. Oh, you can hide and unhide. Oh, so these are two different things. So that's available now, right? These very, very basic things. But imagine playing without this even. Also, the settings is not the same as on Runelight. It's a little bit weird, I would say. Uh, you have to go in the game settings. So it opens like this, which is no problem. You can walk around. It doesn't close the interface. Also, do you see the thing on the side? Like if I enable plugins, it pops out and it closes. It's kind of like Runelight's. Uh, it's a little weird. So let's say there's a clue tracker and it opens like this, which means it squishes your screen like this, although you can still click through it and you can walk and all that. It's good, but it just, I don't think I like this. Do you, Would you like this? If like, oh, I have to open this, but then your inventory moves away. I don't even know how this works on like fixed mode. Oh, you can make float loot tracker wait 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 wait. these are the settings still so if i close these wait 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 wait. they could actually be working very nicely can i move this around also somehow yes you okay you know what i take it back i probably will edit that part out a little bit or something okay okay this not bad at all it seems to be 
fairly customizable but it does work if you kill it uh it shows bones it shows uh, bronze arrows it even shows the gp oh this alking animation is so scuffed because it's showing the runescape 3 high alk or i guess 2008 high alk where it's just uh, the, the coins are supposed to like uh, pile out from the hands or something but it still has the bubble which is understandable you know it's still a work in progress or maybe it's gonna be like this i don't even know but yeah, th that animation it just gives me nostalgia right here. Oh yes, oh yes. It actually, I think it's the snow. That's my. I think on my 117 plugin, I'm still using snow, even though this is like April at the moment. I, I gotta ideally disable it because this looks actually beautiful. Looking at all. Oh, there we go. The water. Oh yeah. Wow, this actually does look smooth. The the, the fires around it. Uh, they did change graphics as well, so I kind of wanna revisit them a little bit. But the whole water you know it's moving a little bit i gotta say it looks really beautiful the only problem is that the developers i think they're themselves out of making the plugins so there's no community hub like runelight has where you can just pump out like crazy amount of plugins in like no time in fact let me try to do this uh, medium close scroll you never know maybe i'll get lucky ranger boots this is my group armament so we definitely need a pair we have zero let's see it pops out immediately it says requires a spade click the clue scroll on your world map to see the dig location wait i have to click on the world map so let's open it will it show me yes it does it i didn't do anything it just literally teleported me to this location so i'm assuming this is the clue near user right here what if i do it like this it still shows in red i believe you see there's two arrows so one is red one is yellow how did i get desert damage this is jungle isn't it there's water and jungle uh, but as you can see it just shows exactly what to dig i can just dig like this it closes in here nothing's anymore i open this it's gonna show another solution which is again to dig somewhere open the map which i can't because <laughs> i have to close this thing okay well close it now and it teleports me to Lumbridge. Now it's a little different step where I have to talk to this professor. It shows the answer already, and I guess you can click on the map too, which will. Oh, it just shows what it is. It's in the Arceus library. I thought it was only for coordinate clues, but it's apparently not. Let's open this cask. Oh, yeah, Ranger Boots. Oh, uh, Now inside the bank, some of the items are changed as well. Most of them look the same, but certain things like herbs. They look different. I do believe they looked exactly the same as they do in RuneScape 3, but also like back in the day in 2008. Kind of like their look. This, the full helm. Yes, I hate this. I, I don't know why. It just, don't, it just triggers me like the whole... I think the Dragon Scimitar also looks uh, weird like it used to be back in the day, but nobody really has it at the moment. Wait, I have it. Wait, will it look? It looks normal. And if I equip... Wait, it does look normal. Okay, so all good. It's just a few items. Yes, the full helm specifically. This. You know, even little things like climbing down this thing is not green. And it's such a little thing, but I, I think it's because people just got really used to that at certain point. And I need... I know there's rocks in here, but... I need to see that green or yellow thingy. At the bottom it says, will there be more plugins similar to Runelight? And they say that they are planning on creating, which they are, and they already made some, and they're actually actively working on adding more of them. So who knows, in six months this could be actually a really good client. But our main priority focus is HD aspect of the game. And again, while HD aspect is really good, and that's what it's called, HDOS, it's, it's all about the HD. Plugins are just as important. That's what I think. So what do I think about this client overall? It is closed sourced, so it's not too appealing for me yet, unless Jmods actually confirm that they look through the source code and everything's fine, and the, the updates as they happen is also not going to be something malicious in them. The plugins are made by developers as far as I know. The people are voting on which features they want to see next in the plugins, which is amazing, because the most requested features are going to be, the most needed ones are going to be polled and then made. However, I think it's because developers are making the plugins, they're not going to come out as fast or in large quantities as Runelight has. Well, there's a lot of everyone can work on plugins and if they get approved, you can even make your own plugin if you want. And 
people can download it it's gonna be definitely slower but you can also you may not need a thousand runelite plugins because nobody uses a thousand at the same time you probably just need like 50 really major ones or maybe a little bit more than that and that would be just enough but some people like certain plugins and some people don't like certain plugins like there is a door kicker plugin that i use in runelite when you open a door it just kicks the door it's just something cosmetic to have and i just don't think something like this would be ever made in here and maybe it's not even needed because who cares about such plugin ever since last time they released so many updates for this client the developers are very very active and they're listening to the whole community so there's at least this active project that's going on and it doesn't seem like it's going to be abandoned unless jagex says so oh and there's download link if you want to check it out again i'm not sponsored but you know so don't click some phishing link in uh, google or something thank you bye